Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us tonight. My name is Cindy Simkis. I'm the Director of Enrollment Management, and I have two really great athletics folks here to join me tonight to talk about the athletics program. Um, if at any point during the night you have questions, feel free to put them in the chat and we'll either address them throughout the night um, or certainly by the end of the call. So I have with me, um, let's see, let's start right here. I have with me the Assistant Director of Athletics and our head soccer coach, that's Christian Vasquez. And I also have with me Student Ambassador Aaron Bogart. And he is here as a senior who's been here uh, too many years to count, I think. <laughs> so he has lots of years to, uh, of experience to share with us, not only in athletics, but just in sort of Knox student life in general. So um, two really great representatives to answer any questions that you have. And I will start by um, presenting out some material and uh, getting a little, to know Aaron a little bit better and his experiences. So I'm going to turn it over to Coach Vasquez. Um, if you want to start, Coach Vasquez, by introducing you know, some of your credentials and what you bring to the team, and then we'll get started with the programs. Sure, sure. So good evening, everybody. Um, my name is Christian Vasquez. As Cindy said, I'm the Assistant Athletic Director here at Knox. Um, I have been in this position since June, and I've just been really excited to help build the athletic program here. Um, to give you a little bit of a background about me, I was a two-sport athlete in college. I did soccer was my main sport. I'm also the head soccer coach here. I did track and field as well. Um, and growing up, really, soccer was my thing and my passion. So soccer and sports really helped me to kind of come out of my shell a bit. And then I took my career outside of college to play semi-professional in the States as well as professionally in England for a bit. So I was very blessed and grateful for the experiences that soccer was able to do for me. And with this new position that I'm in, I'm hoping that I can showcase some of that to our up and coming, up and coming student athletes so they can kind of see the same experiences that I had. Um, so moving on into the next um, slide, I'd like to introduce Aaron as well. So Aaron is, um, wears a lot of hats here at Knox. So um, he is our student council vice president. Um, he's also our Knox, in our Knox Athletic Association, and he is um, part of my soccer team for the last two years, as well as part of the crew team. Um, Aaron, if you want to talk about some of your credentials and kind of what you've accomplished with the crew team and the rowing team, that would be fantastic. Uh, sure. Yeah, I, I joined uh, the crew team uh, as soon as I joined Knox. Um, I was interested in rowing. That was uh, one of the main reasons why, why I came to Knox, uh, because uh, we're the only private school that's located on the water in Long Island. So we're the, it means we're one of the only school. We are the only school team uh, that can pr just practice on campus, which is a, a, a real blessing. Um, yeah, and uh, in eighth grade, uh, I became middle school uh, state champion. Um, freshman year, I was undefeated in the winter season, uh, you know, racing on the rowing machines. Uh, sophomore year was unfortunately uh, put on hold due to uh, the, the pandemic. Um, but uh, last year, uh, I got second place and third place in the state at our state championships. And uh, me, me and my friend uh, attended uh, the national team uh, training camp and went on to compete nationally, uh, representing Team USA. Uh, so that was definitely a blessing, and I'm really happy to have that opportunity. Awesome. Yeah, and I think it's fantastic that you and Alex um, have been able to take your career in crew um, with the guidance of Coach Liam, been able to take it pretty far. Um, and I think you're being very modest um, when you're talking, um, but um, he's a very accomplished individual, not just in athletics, but holistically, which is fantastic. Um, so moving on then, I'd like to talk about um, our athletic department's mission. So for me, athletics has been a big staple of my life for my entire life. And I want to showcase that, like I said earlier, to our student athletes. So I really want to help our kids get a holistic approach to athletics and to maintaining their health and wellness. For me, sports is such a great avenue to learn so many different things. And one of my big missions and the missions of the school is to help instill some of these life skills that we want to showcase our kids so we can help them be great athletes, but even more successful people. So for me, I, as a coach, and I've been grateful enough, enough to be coaching here for four years, um, one of my big missions here is, you know, I want to make sure that my athletes get more experience in their sport and become better in their sport, but I'll never really know how good they're going to be. Um, because for me, my definition of success is how 
good is this person going to be in 15, 20 years, you know, and I won't be able to really see that until they grow up. Right. So I'll know then as a coach, if I've done my job. Um, but for me working in athletics, I want to help our coaches kind of understand that like, yes, winning is important, but winning isn't the end goal for us. Right. Winning is just an outcome of what happens when we do the right things and we put the right things in place, you know, which is treating our student athletes with respect and making sure that we come prepared with our lessons and our session plans. And like I said, winning will become the outcome of everything that we're doing here. Um, so then moving on as well, I wanna talk about our, some of our highlights here at Knox. And we've been very lucky enough to have a lot of success here in athletics. So as you can see, we've got seven world records in rowing. We have a national championship in rowing, state champs, two state champs in rowing. Um, four of our athletes, uh, Aaron included, uh, went to the Olympic Development Program. Um, coach Liam was voted, uh, he's our athletic director, Liam Power. He's been voted a best coach on Long Island. We've had four PSA coaches, seven all-conference athletes in the 2021-2022 school year, and four league championships in basketball. This is just to name some of our amazing highlights here. Um, Aaron, do you think you could talk about like your experience with uh, the Olympic development program, like what that process kind of looked like getting in and how was your experience there? Sure, sure, sure. Well, uh, I was very uh, fortunate to have someone uh, like Coach Liam uh, be in my life, right? He was always on the lookout for opportunities for me and my friend uh, Alex, uh, who's my roommate and who uh, I went uh, to the, who I represented Team USA with. Uh, he was on the lookout and he found uh, this camp, the Olympic development program, which is run by uh, US Rowing, uh, which is the governing body of the sport and is, is the body that organizes which team goes to the Olympics. Uh, and so he told us, you know, to put our name in, and, you know, submit our kind of, uh, you know, credentials and, 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 you know, our accomplishments in the sport. And luckily enough, me, uh, Alex, and, and two other girls who graduated, one of which uh, is attending Kansas uh, right now as a D1 uh, rower. We went uh, in the summer of uh, 2021 and we had a great time. We learned a lot, got to shake a lot of hands and got to, you know, learn, import, most importantly, learn about the sport. And then I was uh, blessed again uh, to, with Alex this summer, uh, go to, uh, back to Jacksonville uh, to train at a higher level called the High Performance Camp. And this is basically, uh, the, this is the, the level right below uh, being an Olympian uh, for, for better or for worse, right? So it was very cool. And we got to rep actually be members of Team USA and, and, and compete domestically, which was a, a dream come true. And so, yeah, that's, that, that was my experience in, uh, in the ODP. Yeah, that's, that's fantastic. And like, when I had similar things growing up, um, like I too played ODP for soccer and like the experience is just fantastic. You get to meet so many well-rehearsed coaches and even like-minded athletes that think just like you. And like, that's kind of what we're trying to push here in our athletic program is trying to get our athletes from good to great. And we want to make sure that they have the right things put in place so that they can become both successful in their sport, but also academically as well. Um, and if you see on our next slide, we'll talk about um, some of our athletes that are currently in college um, playing. Now, you'll see a bunch of them here. There's so many more, but a um, few of my soccer players the last few years, um, Richard on, on the top left uh, is our goalkeeper. He goes to the Massachusetts College. Tommy Hahn plays soccer. And then um, Lainey, who's on the bottom left corner, she goes to Rutgers, Division I um, gymnast. And all of these kids have had tremendous success with us and we were fortunate enough to have them and they had such a willingness to want to learn their sport and become better at it because of who were their mentors, right? Their coaches growing up in this kind of environment. So we've been blessed to have kids who want to compete and they've been in a sense, you know, grateful for what Knox has been able to give them. Um, and I think with our coaching staff as well, something that might be overlooked in a lot of other coaching departments is like, how detailed things are for me as a coach. Um, and I implement this with a lot of the coaching staff here is, you know, the games that are played, a lot of them are physical. Yes. You're using your body and you're learning your technical stuff within your sport, but a lot of the game is mental. And I think a lot of coaches miss the boat on that, um, which is why I'm so grateful that I'm here so I can help these coaches implement the mental strategies and then put them in place so that, they are our kids and our athletes are ready to compete at an even higher level than some of these other colleges and, and some of these other high schools. So, um, yeah, and I've just been grateful that they've been super receptive to that as well. And I think for the most part, I mean, speaking to my soccer players, um, 
they've spoken very highly of like how the mental game has been such a game changer for us this season. Right now, we are currently, we just had a game today. Um, we're currently undefeated in the league. Um, today was our last season game. Um, and for us, um, it's been a journey of athletics and soccer team for sure. But the team has really come together. And I think that's been such an amazing thing to see that the team has been so positive and been able to come together and accomplish a goal and define what success is to our team. Um, so that's been fantastic to oversee this season. And uh, moving on, um, what we'll talk about next is our kind of what we offer in athletics. And um, I believe that's going to be our season. So we'll fall, winter, and spring. Now, here at Knox, we do have three seasons of sports. And these are the types of sports that we offer. Um, obviously, everything being in season, with fall being girls volleyball, boys soccer, boys and girls cross country, crew and equestrian. They are year-round sports, so students can participate in that sport year-round. Winter, it's mainly focusing on our basketball and our fencing programs. Um, like I said, the basketball teams as of late have had real good success, and we're trying to just keep that momentum rolling into the next new year. And in our spring sports as well, we've got question crew, badminton, and volleyball. Um, last year, our boys' volleyball team – I think it was the first volleyball team Knox has ever had, and they ended up winning the whole thing, the whole championship. Um, so from an athletic standpoint, that's that's great um, that the boys were able to come together and figure out almost in a sense a brand new sport and put it together and work together towards a common goal, um, which is all what we're about here, right? And these are our staple sports as of right now, but um, – that doesn't mean that we can't open it up to other sports. You know, we always are very willing to hear what students want and what is a very student approach, student centered approach to athletics. So we will base that based on enrollment numbers and interests and such, so and so. Um, Vasquez, if I could jump in and just ask a quick question of sure. you. Sure. Um, you know, certainly as a as a school community, we love to celebrate our wins. And I, I'm going to tap Aaron for yes. that in just a minute. But I, I actually want to ask you a question from um, the perspective of a family or from a student who may not consider themselves as an athlete. Maybe they've never tried before um, or they've been hesitant. Um, can, can you talk a little bit about that? We've talked a lot about our wins and successes. But but how do you how do you approach that when when we're requiring high school sports from everyone? How do you approach that for someone who doesn't see themselves as an athlete? The first thing is to kind of think, figure out, you know, like what sports are maybe tailor made for certain individuals. Right. And what might you be more likely to try? And I think what's great is our coaches have such patience with our student athletes because, you know, like sports are a mandatory thing at the school. Right. But so. All the coaches know, you know, like you're going to have kids that have never tried a sport. So it might be very intimidating for somebody um, that has never tried it. Right. So what's great about our coaches is we have an approach that's very much like anyone who wants to try and anybody who wants to learn is welcome. As long as, you know, there are certain things put in place. Right. As long as you're showing up on time, there's effort being made from you um, and a willingness to learn. Um we don't judge things based on like skill level per se, but we as coaches here recognize that, you know, this might be very intimidating for some students, you know, like I have to join a sport that I've never tried. I'm, I'm kind of nervous. What do I, what do I do? Um, so, and I think something that I do with my, my kids is cause I, I've been in the same boat. I've had kids that have been like coach, like, like you seem well and nice, but I like, I've never played, soccer before uh, i want to try what can you do for me um aaron, <laughs> aaron included so um and i think it's really just kind of getting on a one-to-one -one level with the with the student and kind of trying to understand you know where they're coming from and being very realistic but patient with them um so i think that's the approach that and i've certainly taken and i feel like a lot of our coaches have as well and I think what's great as well is um, the fact that our students all know each other and are all so supportive, like from the soccer team this year, and Aaron can talk about it as well, is um, every, every home game, at least, you know, we've gotten kids, more and more people coming to watch the games, not just because we've been winning or we've been successful, but because, you know, students have made friends and their friends want to see them play and, you know, and it's been 
amazing scene on the sidelines having so many fans so many parents come by and with their signs and with their pom-poms just cheering on the game you know and being so positive um so for me that's been the joy of this season and i and i'm grateful for it and i hope that students would feel more comfortable trying these new sports and putting themselves out there. But that's the coach approach of putting the student first and understanding and getting to their level is so crucial in all of this. So Aaron, what's your thought on that? You jumped into a new sport, right? How did that go? Like, how did you make that work? Oh, sure. Well, I mean, to begin with, uh, when I came to Knox, uh, I, I was in the seventh grade and I had, I had never done a sport before period. I mean, I, I was someone who was, who was very interested in the performing arts and, and really had no kind of athletic interest or career. And I knew that uh, yeah, I saw my, my sister came here before me and she had, was on the crew team and I saw her, uh, I thought it was interesting. I'm like, oh, they put boats in the water and, and, and make it go fast. That sounded interesting to me. I came here. Uh, I just I joined the team as a scrawny, you know, 12 year old. And here I am a junior Olympian. You know, it's, it's a very interesting progression, uh, but I, I would definitely have to speak about soccer. I mean, um, I knew that they ran. I knew that I, you know, part of rowing training is running, right? It's cardiovascular training. So I, I had developed, a, you know, a decent skill of running and, uh, you know, uh, it fall for rowing is, is a scrimmage season, right? It's competitive, but it's not really on the books. And so I was just looking for something to kind of, you know, keep the competitive drive going as we, as we transition to the winter season, which is uh, purely training uh, for rowing. Uh, and I knew that soccer, they ran fast. So I had asked, uh, you know, uh, coach Vasquez if I could join the team and, uh, here I am starting today uh, as the, the right defender. So it's an interesting progression. I mean, I, I have fallen head over heels, uh, for uh, soccer. I, I'm, I'm the only thing I regret about, uh, the soccer process is not joining sooner. I mean, uh, I, I have gone, uh, to Spain, uh, and seen, uh, two, uh, your, uh, La Liga games. Right. And I literally just started playing last September. So I, it, it, it progressed, you know, really, really swiftly. And, uh, I love the sport and I'm, I'm, I'm sad that I'm graduating because I have to let, I have to, you know, this season will be over. Yeah. And, and, and you've been killing it by the way, like you've been absolutely killing it. <laughs> So I'm very grateful for your efforts and your wanting to learn throughout every practice and every game. It's been fantastic. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Tell me, Aaron, how do the coaches support you through all of that? Oh, uh, personally, uh, education is, you know, academic education is objectively very important, right? But I think that the, the relationship you have with the coach is, you know, it, it's something that's, that's, I feel like every individual needs to have right they everyone needs to maybe tell them that athletic coach right but every person needs a coach in their life someone who is not you know giving you a grade right but someone who, whose only objective is to see you succeed uh and um i feel like that has never been more exemplified than than the coach than coach liam uh our other crew coach who's the assistant uh head of uh res life coach loriana and coach vasquez i mean these, these that's like my holy trinity i, I rely on these people so much uh, coach Liam, you know, he's been with me since I was in eighth grade. Uh, he has always taken care of me and, and always, you know, treated me like his own. And, you know, again, has, has always found those amazing opportunities for me and has, has, you know, seen me get stronger and only wanted good things for me. And uh, Coach Vasquez introducing me to a, a completely new sport that I had, had never put a ball near my foot. And then here I am, you know, playing full 80 minutes. You know, it, it's, a, it's, it's a real blessing. And Coach Lurian, our, our other uh, crew coach, I mean, she she provides so much input and, and so much technical skill into the sport. I mean, it's, it's outstanding. So I, I think, you know, the, the coach support has is, is only helped me and not grow as an athlete, right? But grow me grow as a person because these are people who you form, you know, very personal relationships with. And, and you know, they, they they can offer an insight, right, that, that a teacher can't, right, or, or that an administrator can't. They see you in a way that is your true self, right, who you are on, on the pitch, you know, in the boat, right, whatever, on the court, right? That's, that's who you really are. It's, it's a, real, a real reflection. So they see, you know, that raw self and, and they can help, you know, take that better. Right? That's, that's something I, I greatly value. Thank you. I appreciate that, Aaron. I think um, Coach Vasquez, can, I'm going to ask you to talk a little bit maybe about some of our training facilities and how we get our athletes into the shape they need to be in um, to better themselves and, and certainly to compete at the level that our kids have been competing at. Yeah, absolutely. So with our training facilities here, um, I think it's great that our coaches are just so well rehearsed in their sports that, you know, even if we didn't have such amazing facilities, they could still make it work, right? Because they're just that knowledgeable. Um, but here, as you can see, you know, this is our gym. And I, and I, what I really love about our gym um, 
is the tradition that we have with the flags around the gym. Um, for me, I think that's such a such an amazing thing. When I first came here, I thought that was fantastic. Um, the flags signify pretty much any student that is currently here or has been here, um, where they're from, you know? So as a coach, it's such a different um, style of, of that you have on your team because when you coach locally, you know, most of your kids are from the same town or from a town over, but here you're trying to get kids to come together from different cultures, different languages, and maybe even different styles of play. Um, so using the facilities that we have to implement those kind of things is just something that our coaches do exceptionally well. Um, so this is our basketball court here on the right hand side, you'll see our weight room and our erg room. Um, here is where all we have our athletes in the off seasons or during their seasons train both their cardiovascular systems as well as, you know, their strength and conditioning with the weights, you know, with weight training or any type of training that they're, that they're doing. Um, Moving on to the next slide, we have our um, more of our training facilities. On the top right, you'll have our we have our equestrian center. Again, I think this is really really awesome to have our own little place where the horses are here and we can get our riders out and practice and get ready for our competitions, both both in upstate New York or in Florida or wherever um, our director of equestrian science decides to take them. And then on the big picture you'll see here, um, I'm not sure who's in the boat, but um, I, I know like this is one of the cooler things here that we have at the school because in the far building, you'll see that's one of our dormitories and it just oversees the water. And this is where our crew team really practices during the season. Um, hopefully not in the winter. Um, it gets a little too chilly. <laughs> it's like, no, absolutely not. <laughs> but um, that is something that, a lot of places don't have the uh, capacity to have. So for us, it's just so cool. Like coach Dean will be like, we have practice in the water and we just walk down to the water and just get a boat and practice, you know, and the kids do it. And I think that is something that's great. Um, some other things that we have here, you know, we have, we have an outdoor swimming pool. We have a soccer field here for our soccer program, two, two softball fields, um, as well as four hard top tennis courts. And then like we, I had mentioned our strength and conditioning facilities. And what I really like too, in the building, in the picture, in the big picture where the kids are rowing, um, we do have a nice mirrored studio for dance, yoga, meditation. It kind of oversees the water. Um, so you get that holistic experience too, you know, with the mental side, you know, relaxing your mind and learning about how to stay calm, um, which is where we do a lot of our yoga sessions, which I think is also something that's fantastic as well. Um, so yes, that's all of our training facilities. Um, so moving on to, um, yeah, actually I had uh, one thought come to mind as I was looking sure. at a picture of the gym and uh, there's another one here. So I'm going to leave this one up, but this is for Aaron. <laughs> Tell me, Aaron, what does it feel like when everybody comes out? Imagine that gym filled with all of our students, parents, and everybody's cheering on, whether it's basketball, volleyball, badminton, or who knows, um, can you tell me what that feels like? Because I know I just saw you the other day in there uh, sure. at our school spirit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two things, right? I, I think uh, going to a high school game, like a, like a packed gym high school game for your home team, right, is, is, is a quintessential experience everyone should have, right, the, in their life, right? Because, you know, if you go to a college game, you know, if you go to, you know, college athletics or whatever, you don't really know the players always. Right? But and so it's, but to, in high school, right, you're in a packed gym, you feel that energy, you know the people, like these are your friends, you only want them to succeed. It's an amazing feeling, right? To be, it's, it's a very communal feeling. And it, it's, it's very heartwarming. Uh, but then also from, that's just from the cheerleading perspective, right? But then from the athlete perspective, as I mentioned, I, I was a theater student, so I'm definitely not one uh, who's afraid of, uh, of attention, right? And it, it's, only, it's only beneficial for your game time performance to have people cheering your name to, to just, you know, to be screaming fly high Falcons, right? Which is our motto in, in, uh, in Knox Athletics, right? So it's, it, 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 it raises the atmosphere, right? It, it only improves your mental state and it, it makes you want to win. And it is, it is something that really makes Knox unique, right? Because everyone supports everyone. I'm not a huge volleyball fan, but I was, I brought out a bongo at the last volleyball home game and started uh, making a chant and screaming, ole, 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 uh, every time they, and they scored just because I want my friends to see, right? I didn't see them as the volleyball athlete. I saw them as my friend. And that's something that's, I, I think is fairly unique to Knox. I love that. And the, the school spirit this year um, has just been absolutely amazing. In fact, um, we are currently nominated for Best of Long Island High School Spirit. So, um, yeah, it's it's been, you know, it's it's recognition to 
um, Mrs. Riccardi, our head of school, likes to talk about how we're small but mighty. And I think that, you know, we may be a small school, but to me, that allows us, our kids, a lot of opportunity, right? Opportunity to try new things they wouldn't have tried before. Hopping from one sport to the next, expanding your athletic opportunities. And um, we're small but mighty. And when we fill that gym and all that sound reverberates off the walls, it's it's uh, an incredible feeling. Um, I do have another question for you. And it's a little more of a serious question, but we're going to go with it just so we make sure we cover it. Because I know a lot of our students will ask this question. How, at the end of the day, Erin, do you balance it all? You got a full day of school. You got studies to do afterwards. How do you balance it all with athletics, academics, you know, all the other activities that you're involved in on campus? Yeah, I mean, I, I would I would definitely be lying if I said it was easy, right? But if it was easy, I wouldn't be doing it, right? So uh, just to give an idea, uh, I am on student council. I'm also president of the, the school's chapter of the National English Honor Society. Um, as of, For this season, I'm a full-time two-sport athlete. Uh, and I'm in three AP classes and all my other classes, and I'm applying for college in three different uh, application systems. So it, it's a lot of work. Um, but the way I manage it is, well, I've always thought of something, which I don't know if a lot of kids share, and I don't know if maybe it's the best mentality, but it's, it's my mentality. It's what I'm very proud of is that sports are definite, right? Like it has to, it has to happen. Obviously the books are important, right? The books, if you don't have good grades, then I'm, I'm skipping practice, right? It's, it's, it's the, it's, you know, if no books, I'm on the bench, right? But as, uh, assuming I'm, I'm, you know, keeping up my mind of the bargain, right? At the, the sports practice has to come. So I make time around that. I have to figure out, all right, maybe instead of taking an hour nap, like, which I'd like to do as a tired student, maybe go to practice. And when that hour nap, I, I study during that hour, right? Or maybe, you know, maybe I, I, instead of, you know, what I'd usually call my friends, right? Maybe I just, you know, cut that time in half and, and, and try getting, you know, to work. It, it, it's not always fun, right? It's, it's not always the easy option but it's the option that's fulfilled me the most knowing that I can handle all these. Cause that's only a test for life. Right. You know, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a college athlete. Right. So that's only going to be a harder challenge. And so I think this is, it's, it's providing me with, with a great kind of prerequisite. Uh, you know, so definitely like kind of my system is just, you know, you have, we have one thing I love about uh, living here is right. You have study hours from seven to nine. It is definitely kind of a time where, you know, my doors open, dorm parents are checking on me. I'm, I'm super fortunate for it. It definitely keeps me in check. And it's two hours. I'm forced to do my work. And look, if I have to stay up a little later finishing it, and that's, that's, that's what I'm willing to do uh, because, you know, I don't want to lose sports and I, and I'm not, and you know, it is sports have to happen. I'm not going to quit the sport because it's getting too hard. It's only going to want, it's only going to make me want to double down and, and put my foot in the sand and, and make sure I, I train even harder and, and study even harder and so on and so forth. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, Coach Vasquez, any final thoughts? I'm going to take a quick look at our chat to see if any questions came in, but I, I'd love to give you an opportunity to share any final thoughts, anything we may not have yet covered tonight. Yeah, no, I, th I think we've pretty much just touched on it all. I mean, like for me being here, I just love the fact that like we've created like a community here that is so just so knit together and like it's so evident in our home games like they with any sport and for me I think that's been one of the biggest things I've seen over the last few years is that people are so happy to come to the games and just cheer you on and even if you don't play a full game right like they'll still be happy to see you play for five ten minutes and they're happy to watch the game you know even when we were like losing games you know everyone's not getting angry that we're losing they're getting animated to help you get some energy so you can win the game. Right. So um, for me, it's just been such a positive experience coaching here. And I've been just so grateful for the people I've met, the coaches I've had in touch with, I've kept in touch with and just all of it. So I think for me, it's, it's just been a fantastic place to, to be. Thank you. I appreciate that. Aaron, I'm going to ask you one final question um, and leave the chat open in case any of our families on the call tonight have questions they want to pop into the chat. Um, Aaron, as a senior who's been here a very long time, <laughs> tell me what are your final thoughts? What would be your advice to um, someone who's contemplating Knox for um, academics, athletics, um, really everything you've participated in the arts and student leadership, everything. So tell me what your um, final thoughts or tips would be for someone that's in your position five or six years ago. Sure. Well, uh, I mean, the proof is in the pudding, right? I mean, as you see him today, I'm not saying this, you know, sell a point. I'm saying this, you know, just it's, it's, it's my history, right? The proof is in the pudding, right? Now, it, gets, it gets it done, right? I, I've been able to, you know, 
being student leadership, which I never thought I'd be able to do before, right? I'm, I'm president of the National English Honor Society before I came to Knox, I was failing English, right? <laughs> I'm a two sport athlete, I'm a junior Olympian, right? And all these things. And it's, I would never have these opportunities if, if it weren't for Knox and, and the unique community it fosters. Uh, and, and if, you know, someone's on the fence, right, try it out. Right. I mean, for with sports, I, I think sports are, are probably, you know, one of the most important things a, a human being can have in their life. I think it is, I think it is the great equalizer of all humans, right? It puts everyone on the same playing field and everyone has a chance to, you know, to participate no matter what, you know, where they come from or, or their skill level, everyone will have a chance to learn it and to be better. And I think it's great. Um, and, and one thing I, I really, really, really love not bad Ox is that because it's a smaller community, right? Everyone's every kind of department, right? Every you know, theater department, athletic department, athletic, uh, academic department, right? they're all kind of relying on the same group of students. So you're able to, to work around a schedule. It's not everything is time conflicting, right? So I'm able uh, still as a senior to participate in, in the performing arts and be a two sport athlete and be on student leadership and do all these things, right? So it, it, is, it has made me a very well-rounded uh, human being, which is great not only for my life, but de- definitely helps, you know, on the college applications, knowing that I have this, you know, kind of full-rounded, you know, holistic uh, application, I, th- I think it'll only benefit me. Right. So, uh, you know, if you're on the fence, uh, give it a shot. I, I do think it is, it is, it's an amazing option. It's changed my life only for the better. Well, there is no better note to end on than that sentiment. So I greatly, greatly appreciate your time, both of you. Um, coach Vasquez, Aaron, I really appreciate your time sharing your experiences, your perspective about our athletics program. And um, I'm just putting up one last slide here. If anyone has any questions, they can reach out to our athletics department um, and certainly, you know, talk about any of the sports that they're currently active in. So I thank you both. I know, Aaron, I'm cutting into your two hours of study time, so I'm going to let you go tonight. (laughs) <laughs> so you can get back to what you need to do. I thank you both and, and have a great night. You too. Thank you so much.